everybody we're back we are gonna do Mexican today and what we're gonna do is called shredded pork ranchero burritos Mexican chili beans and guacamole salad so let's get started first thing we're gonna do anything like a Dale's sauce a steak marinade we're going to do a fourth of a cup now what we did was we put our pork butt in here. This is a six pound butt, fat side down, because you want that fat breaking apart really quick to add some grease so it doesn't stick. Fourth a cup of the Dell sauce, Moore's, what have you. Then we will go and we will put a teaspoon of seasoned salt all over it. Now that Dell's is salty too so watch out. Then we're going to put in a teaspoon of garlic powder all over it. Then we are going to put a teaspoon of cumin Cumin goes very well in Mexican dishes. So there we go. Alrighty. Now, paprika. We need a whole tablespoon of paprika. So tablespoon in there. Now it's winter time. Normally we'd be doing this on our smoker, but it is 20 something degrees outside. So we are not going to be doing that. We're going to be doing it in the crock pot. Not as good, but once you get it all put together, who can tell really? All right. Now for the cayenne pepper, we are going to go with a half of a teaspoon. We don't need a whole teaspoon of this. It's quite spicy enough. So, there we go. Alright, and as far as chili powder, we're going to go with a whole tablespoon of chili powder too. Now, for a roast this size, it's probably going to cook anywhere from 8 to 10 hours in this slow cooker. So what we're going to do is we're going to cover it, and we're going to put it on high, and we're going to cook it on high for the first 5 hours. Then we're going to turn it down and cook it on low for another 3 to 5 hours. So we'll see you back later. So while our meat's cooking down, it's been on about five hours now. Um, we're fixing to flip it, and then we'll cook in an additional, probably another five hours from the looks of it. But in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and get our beans going. These are me Mexican chili beans. So I've got a pound of pinto beans here that I've already sorted and gone through, picked out all the, the ugly ones and the rocks and everything, and put them in the colander rinse them thoroughly. Then once I get that done, I'm going to go ahead and add all of these ingredients to make the Mexican chili beans. Okay, so our beans are rinsed and we have now added three quarts of water to this. We got another quart sitting here just in case because we're going to hard boil these for an hour. So I'm going to go ahead and add our ingredients. We're going to add everything except the green chilies, which is seven ounces of green chilies, and half of a pound of Velveeta cheese. So, in the meantime, we will add half of a yellow green on or yellow onion, minced. Okay, a heaping teaspoon of garlic powder. 
a heaping teaspoon of cumin. Two heaping teaspoons of chili powder. A heaping tablespoon of beef bouillon. A teaspoon of seasoned salt. And a half of a teaspoon of red crushed chili flakes. Now, we're going to put this on the eye, cook it on high for an hour, and then reduce it to medium and cook it an additional four to five hours. All right, everybody. <clears throat> this has been cooking for 10 hours, five on high, five on low. It is fall apart ready. He's fixing to put it in this plastic and shred it. And then the meat is ready for ranchero burritos. Now, you see a big hunk of fat? Pull it off, throw it away. Because that ain't, you know, we're not eating fat. We're, we're eating meat. Um, but this is the best stuff. Do you need to get one of those spiders over there? I eat it. Now, all you got to do is use these two forks and just start shredding. It's real simple. All right, guys. Three, uh, four hours these beans have been going. We're putting seven ounces of diced chilies in now. Well, we got the chilies in. Stirred them all in. That was seven ounces of diced green chilies. Now we have got half of a one pound block of Velveeta cheese that we're going to drop in here. I cut it up into cubes so it'll melt a little quicker. And that all melt down. And once it's melted down, we will put this on warm, set it back on the back burner, and we'll get started on our guacamole for our guacamole salad and start putting our ranchero burritos together we'll be back in a minute all right guys well the beans are finished cooking so we took them out of the big stock pot and put them in a smaller simmering pot and the cheese is all melted we're gonna keep them on warm until it's time to eat all right well what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn some red enchilada sauce that i had in my cupboard into a nice mole for our shredded pork ranchero burritos so we've got the let's see how big it is it is 28 ounces seven ounces of green chilies half of a yellow uh, onion medium size minced garlic we have special dark chocolate that was already in my pantry so we're using it two-thirds of a cup of uh, raisins, a heaping tablespoon of beef bouillon, two teaspoons of chili powder, and one half of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Now, we've got butter in our pot right now melting, a half a stick. Let's get started. All righty, here we go. We put this in our little ninja and we minced it up really good. And after we incorporate all of this by cooking it, we put it in a blender and mix it all up for a nice mole sauce. But that comes after the onions are completely done and everything's melted together. So... I just got a little bitty spoon for that. So we've got that. Now, let's see. I'm 
Garlic. We are going to put, that's about one clove's worth. That's about two cloves worth. That should be enough. Now I'm going to add these green chilies. Now, I'm going to put those up to like six, which is like a medium high, until they're translucent and basically ready for me to add all the rest of my ingredients so that we can get it in the blender. We'll be back in a minute. It's about ready to start adding the rest of our stuff. One heaping tablespoon of beef bouillon. Two teaspoons chili powder. Half of the teaspoon cayenne. Two thirds of a cup raisins. Woohoo! Now, let's stir all this together. See what we got going on. Okay. So the raisins bring out a little sweetness. The cayenne will balance all that so it's not too sweet. Especially after you add that chocolate. Alright, we're adding our enchilada sauce. This ha takes away from us having to work all day on a mole, basically. You've already got your red sauce. Now you're going to have a little red mole. All right. Let's stir this up. Now we will cook this on medium low for about an hour so it gets all incorporated. Now it's time for the dark chocolate. So we're all about using what we already have in our pantry. Now, this is a great big old bar and I think we need about mm, a fourth of it. All right. Put them in. Like that, because we don't want it being overwhelming. There we go. We'll let that melt down. If we need more, we'll add more. But for now, that looks good. Let that melt. Put a lid on, and we will be checking it in about 45 minutes to an hour. Well, while our mole is cooking down, we're going to go ahead and put together a nice guacamole salad. Now, the guacamole link. I'll go ahead and attach to this video, but I've already done, you know, a video for that. But that was for game day uh, dips. This is going to be a delicious guacamole salad. So I cut me up some nice romaine, lettuce, just like that. And then I put some black olives all over it because we love them. And then I come back and I add ha ha ha. Let's see. My hands are wet, so I'm having a little bit of a hard time. So we're going to add bacon bits, real bacon bits, all over it. 
like that. Now, our guacamole has tomato already in it, so. And we always put the seed in. It slows down the process of browning. And I also put lime juice in it. So, here we go. A nice dollop. Right on the top like that. Phenomenal. And some sharp cheddar cheese. Now that's a beautiful salad. Time to put the mole in the blender, get it all nice and smooth. Then we'll put it right back in the pot. Smells delicious. we're ready to put it together this meat fabulous out of this world it'd be even better on the smoker but since it's winter time no can do alrighty so there's our meat now next step now, of course we steamed our tortilla here I use whole wheat tortillas we, we like them a lot better there is our cheese. Put it however much you want. Then fold it like this. Fold it over. Fold it like this. Keep rolling it. Now, next step. I'll be back. Okay, next step. Our delicious mole. We're only putting it on half, though. You see that? Because then we're going to come back with the salsa verde. And we put this on the other half. Make it nice and festive looking. Now. We grab us a dollop of sour cream. And we put it right there in the middle, just like that. Come back. Just like that. Our fabulous Mexican chili beans. Nice and cheesy. All right. And our delicious guacamole salad. Now, that is a Mexican feast. Olé. Let's eat.